Hey guys, Mr. Johnston here. Uh, we're going to continue learning more about how to complete the challenges in uh, Robot C Virtual Worlds. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to Robot C. So if you open up Robot C Virtual Worlds, and you can do that by first getting into Robot C, then make sure under Robot you have the correct platform time selected. We're going to use the VEX 2.0 Cortex in the natural language PLTW and then what you're going to do is make sure the compiler target is set to virtual worlds uh, once it's set to virtual worlds let's just open a new file and then download that blank file to the virtual worlds okay as you can see i was working on uh, some stuff in the last video i was doing the basketball drills uh, let's go ahead and work on the labyrinth challenge next and i'm going to show you some some tricks in here um, that will help you with the labyrinth challenge okay so i'm going to say start activity and you can see here I have the square bot. <clears throat> so there you go. Now, uh, the very first thing I'm going to do is, um, well, I'm going to go ahead and leave this window open, okay? So we're going to do the labyrinth challenge. All right, I'm going to go to robot motor and sensor setup, okay? And then under standard models, I'm going to select the RVW square bot because that's the one I'm using. And click OK. All right, I'm going to use the motor command. Um, to get it going, start it, M-O-T-O-R, and then the name of the motor. Now, it's not showing up right motor yet because the uh, the names that it's given under motors are here, like right motor and left motor. Those names, they, they're they not showing up yet in the autocomplete because the program hasn't been compiled. So if you say compile program, now when I go to motor, right motor, Okay, there it is. All right, so motor right motor equals, I'm going to go full speed, which is 127. And then I'm going to use copy and paste because it's my friend. All right, so if I go right motor and left motor, and then I have to have a, a period of time where it's going to wait to let those motors run. So I'll say wait for three seconds, for instance. At that, I'm going to press F5 on the keyboard, which helps me upload it quickly. Click play, and there we go. So now that's, uh, oh yeah, because I just said right motor, right motor. There you go. So I need to change that to left motor. And download the robot. Play, oh, uh, reset. All right, then play. Three seconds. All right. Three seconds looks good. Looks like about all the time I need. And let me reset that again. Let's see how far three seconds takes us. It takes us from there to about there. So it looks like about halfway to where it needs to be, maybe a little less. I'm actually going to change it to 2.5 because I really only want it to go halfway. And you'll see why in a second. All right, so if I say this is the halfway point, OK. Eh. Not quite halfway, so maybe 2.75. Okay, here we go. And 2.75, that's probably good. Now I'm going to copy and paste that and put it down here. Download. Okay, so because eventually I want my robot to end up up here in the upper right. Um, just before that line. So I might as well, if I'm writing commands for it to go forward, I might as well, well do that. Okay, so it looks like it's too much. So maybe, I bet 2, I thought 2.5 was, was actually what I needed. Oh, oops, okay. Download the robot. And so this is just going to be a lot of trial and error. Uh, you just, you know, we're just doing this based on time. So uh, if you use the uh, Clawbot, the Clawbot, it might be less time. Um, if you use one of the other robots, then it might be less time. And you can use the other robots. You just have to go under Robot and then select the different robot in, that you want to use. And then you also have to make sure that in Robot C that you're using the right, uh, you have the right robot set up in the configuration right up here where it says RVW Square Bot. That's because that's what I'm using. So 2.4, uh, I still don't know if that's going to be, yep, so 2.4 looks like it's perfect. 
uh, for going straight and cut so cutting in half. Um, so once it goes forward, then I need to make a left turn. And again, I'm going to copy this. The way you make a left turn is by making your left wheel go backwards and your right wheel go forward. And I think maybe 0.4 seconds will make it go left. Let's take a look. And let's try. So you can see really once you get the commands down. Oh, so now what did I do? I made the right motor go backwards. So, but it didn't quite make a 90. So if I want it to make a 90 degree angle, then I'll do 6, 7. All right. So that we see like that. All right. Let's try that. Let's say try again. All right. Play. Here we go. It goes 2.4 turns. And now it looks like it's turning too much. Okay. So maybe 0.6. Let's try that. It might be still too much. So once you get those, once you get the amount of time that it needs to to take to make the turns, so 0.6 looks like it's gonna it, it'll work for me. But um, now I need to go further than that. So I'm gonna go forward by I don't know, let's say 3.5 seconds, and then I already know I need to make a right turn. So I'm gonna copy and paste, and so this is my right turn. It's going to be negative on the right and positive on the left motor. And 0.6 is good. So then it's going to be making a right. And then I need to go forward. But I know the forward that I'm going to go this time is going to be a little bit shorter. Oh, wait, no, because I'm going to go. Um, let's look at this again. So I'm going to go from here. I already go to like 2.4 seconds. You can see right here. I make a left and then I'm going to go about three and a half seconds and then I make a right and then I'm going to go, I need to go 2.4 seconds because then that will take me over here and then I need to make another right and then I need to go forward again. So if I just copy this whole thing, a right and then forward, I bet that's all I need. Okay. So again, like I've said this before, don't make it harder than it is. You can, you could make it much more advanced if you want. And that's, sometimes that's cool and that's fun. But if you're getting frustrated and you don't have this done yet and you want to get it done, this is the easiest way to do it right here. Okay, making a right or left and then now, I'm, oh. Okay, I think what happened was I hit the wall. So again, so that's three and a half seconds. Let's just change it to three. Download the robot. You see, it's really just easy. You just got to know where it is in the program. All right. There we go. We know this is good. And you might need to make a little bit harder of a right turn. Again, I'm hitting that wall. Uh, let's see. So maybe, well, 2.4 wasn't enough. So maybe 2.8. Refresh. Wondering if that claw is going to get in our way. Maybe I need to use a different robot. Oh. Okay, so now that's good. I just didn't go far enough. Well, that's that's strange. Or no, I hit it. Okay, so here we go. Two point eight, probably. Not two point eight. This one right here. Two point. Which one was it? Okay, so I go straight. I make a left. I go straight. Yeah, that's the one. So. I don't want to say like a full three seconds and maybe you don't hit the wall. I feel like it maybe already did three seconds and that's when I hit the wall. I'm wondering if there's not, if I'm going to have to make two turns up here. So you can see this is really just, a, it's about trial and error. See, like I hit the wall again. So maybe 2.9 is our last real option here. Otherwise, I'm going to have to figure out what to do with that claw and get it out of the way. Here we go. Don't hit the wall. It didn't hit the wall. Yay. Oh, oh man. Okay. So then I am going too far. The 2.4 right here, maybe just two seconds. So this can be frustrating, but I mean, it's only been a couple minutes so far, so it's, it's not really that tough. 
Now, if we're using sensors and things, then yeah, it's going to be a little bit more advanced. And there you go. Okay, so that program should work if you're using the SquareBot. Remember, if you're using a ClawBot or something, it might take more time. Uh, you might need to make it turn a little bit different. And, but that's really going to be it for the Labyrinth Challenge. All right, hope it worked out for you guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.